Do 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 do. Yeah. Do 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 do. This episode of Rory was filmed before a live studio audience. Hello. Okay, so hello there. Today, what I'm going to do for you is give you a little insight into me, and I'm going to show you all of the pictures from my phone. However, first I thought that there was something which I should talk about because after talking with Katie, I discovered that these things aren't actually in America. Now this is a food stuff, a scotch egg. Now I should probably have guessed it wasn't in America and such because it's called a scotch egg, hence Scotland. But what is a scotch egg I hear you say? This. That is, um, that's a scotch egg. Now I know what you're saying, you're saying, Rory, you silly British person. This isn't an egg, this is a, um, a burnt lemon. But you'd be wrong, because this is actually breadcrumbs, and um, it does look a bit like a lemon. Anyway, you see, this is a breadcrumb coat, and if I eat it, jump cut incoming, it's a good scotch egg. You can see it's actually hollow and hidden inside is an egg. How did this come about existing? Man, I'm gonna finish with a scotch egg now. So for those of you wondering, this is my phone. It is an iPhone 4, which I love. So let's dive straight in and give you a little insight. I shall be projecting the pictures here. Yes, picture one. That is um, the very first picture I ever took because I picked this up just before going into work experience and so as soon as I sat down in the office, I took my first picture, which was of my emails. It, it, it will get better. This is what I would look like if I was fat. And this is a trophy I won. Um, no, not really. And this is what my toilet from home looks like, incredibly shocked. If someone was pissing in my mouth, I'd probably be a bit shocked too. But it's probably just shocked that the towels are all on the floor. Something which hasn't changed. This is a picture of me squishing my nose. And this is another picture of me squishing my nose. Here's a picture of my feet because I'm all cool and hipster and that. This is a boss from Final Fantasy XIII which I hate. And that's him dying. You cannot believe the satisfaction I had taking that picture. This is a slightly sexist advert I saw in Victoria Station in London. And this is a picture of the salad at a subway store. Don't know why I took that. This is a hot chocolate at Cafe Nero, which I asked for no cream on. Yeah, that turned out well. This is Robo Geisha on Blu-ray. If you want to see a giant mechanical Japanese building punching other buildings in the face so that they bleed, this is a film for you. And let's face it, who isn't that a film for? And this, whoa, what the hell is that? This is a picture of a dashboard on a car, which is very content. This is a picture of Liberal Democrat leader Nick Clegg with a thong on his head. That's not the uh, real Nick Clegg, obviously. If I had a picture of that, I would be pretty rich. There is my uh, Mac trackpad, which is fucked. This is a game called Onchan Barra Bikini Zombie Hunters. This is a game that, through a series of circumstances, I own three times. It's not what it looks like. This is a cider bottle that my friend manipulated to look like the LOL Woods pair. This is what we do with our spare time at university. This is my name on the end credits of a TV show. It's the first TV credited appearance I've got and I was very proud of it, as you can see by my reflection in the screen with a big smile on its face. This is a picture of a band called JLS, four massively floppy dickheads promoting the Nintendo Wii because they're connected to the 14-year-old girl demographic, or something. Actually, according to the YouTube stats, I'm also attached to that demographic, so hi. Here's a sign for Legally Blonde the Musical, which I went to, and it was good. And here are a few pictures of my friends sitting on a bench. Gotta fill your time somehow. And here's Robert Patterson with some darts in his face. A definite improvement over the normal face. <laughs> Here is some of my animations looping above a bowling alley. I was just so proud of it, I had to take a picture. This is me pretending to be a wizard because I've... Okay, let's skip that one. This is me after dropping a mince pie on my extremely expensive thousand pound laptop. And here's some snow, and this is a chocolate Santa. Guess what time of year these were taken at? And me very productively 
making a diglet out of the snow. Here's a customer service assistant badge which I accidentally stole off one of my ex-girlfriends. Sorry. There's a ghost chair. And here's Robo Geisha turning into a tank. I told you that film was good. Here's me with really, really long hair. And this is me with very, very short hair. <sighs> Thrilling, right? Here's my gym membership card. And here's my gym membership card next to a Burger King meal which I bought. This is, um... It's a, a picture of someone's bum underneath a cloth with a hole cut in it for the bum. I don't know what that's doing on there. This is the scariest thing I've ever seen in my life. That is our glorious queen with the dead soulless eyes which stare into your very being. And that's what a bus looks like. And those are the pictures on my phone. Now before we go, it's time for This Week in Headlines. Pick Me Up magazine has this. My gastric op left me hungry for sex. Yeah, because nothing gets me more hungry for sex than a gastric bypass. Chat magazine has this. Kicked to death by a total stranger. Because, I mean, only my friends are allowed to kick me to death. And finally, dumped for looking like an alien. Thank you very much, I'll see you next week.